too guilty there being too aggressive on that play, Dave. 347 into the contest. Costello against Bastelers on the penalty shot. He scores! The captain, Costello, Ottawa Senators draft pick, takes his time, head up the whole time, shows deep, freezes Mastelers in the net, goes low stick shot. Tremendous shot by the captain. And it just over the glove. What a terrific opportunity there for Costello to get his second. Now it's turned over. Kind of with a good job of the forecheck here, Ansa. Centering pass, shot, score! Sam Hare makes it 2 0 Fighting Irish. does a really good job there. Big Sam Hur. Centering pass. Bounces off the stick. Uh, Troy Power, who's now set up at the top of the crease. Notre Dame's being really disciplined with their triangle. Down low, what a redirection. Hanley with the pass to the side of the net. It was tipped home. And so on the five on three, power play opportunity. Steven Yacobellas, we talked about him having great hands. What a great redirection here. Yeah, this is Hanley making this play. He's UMass's top offensive defenseman. Great heads up play. And Yacobellas, a great redirection. Summer Hayes had no chance. Around the boards, Shea is there. Nordheim right now is being outmanned in the corner. When you're up in the power play, you need to have more men. And that's what can happen when it comes off the wall. Anson, a one-timer finds the back of the net off the stick of Andy Ryan. And it's a 3-1 Notre Dame lead. As I was saying, this worked out to Notre Dame's <laughs> advantage. <laughs> they were being outmanned in the corner, and it ended up costing the Minutemen on that play. You're watching three-on-three -three battle. Puck goes back to the point. Big blast that Maxwell has no chance on. Center ice. So with under 10 seconds remaining in the period. Another Notre Dame penalty. And a one-timer score! Bracell perfectly set up off the faceoff. And with 4.3 seconds remaining in the period, a power play goal by the Minutemen. Their second power play goal of the game, and they are back to within one. I always talk about the importance of face-offs in every aspect of the game. It doesn't matter what time it is. More important, the last minute of every single period, important of face-offs. Now you see the minimum just battle. It's all about battling win that face-off draw. I mean, Graysol was able to just cock the gun. Sherry puts it in his wheelhouse. Now set up Lucia with a chance here, hit the goal post. On the stick side of Mastelers. Mario Lucia with a great opportunity, now Johns with a shot. That's redirected, this score! I'm not sure if the original redirection went in or it was the jam play at the side of the net, but either way, on the power play, Notre Dame, once again, has reestablished a two-goal lead. This play begins and ends with big Mario Lucia's quick release. Showing you why the Minnesota Wild selected him in the NHL draft. He's in front of the net. He's battling Matt Hares there as well. And it's hard to tell from this angle if Mario was able to tap that one home. But Stephen Johnson does a good job. He doesn't blast it. He just lobs the puck at the net. Makes sure he gets it through, gets it through traffic, and gives his uh, scores an opportunity to battle for any loose puck opportunities. Oh, I don't think it was in until Lucia hit it. Then we can see it on the reverse side. As Johns hands it off on the far side, gets it back from Lucia. A little back pass now for Tacker. Inostroza makes a nifty move, sends it across. What a pass! And Lucia able to finish. What a play by the youngster, Vince Inostroza. As the power play for Notre Dame makes it 5 to 2.
That's all I could say here. Here's what Notre Dame's been missing, the creativity of Vinny Penestroza. And there's Lucia, just has the gun caught, just hangs out, keeps himself in a quiet area, gives Penestroza a nice passing lane, and he buries it, puts that one home over the outstretched Masterlitz. Yacobellis hands it off on the far side. Pagosi to the front, a chance for Yacobellis and a save by Summerhays. Centering pass, there's an empty net there, they score! Brandon Wallen gets his first collegiate goal to make it 5-3. Wallen's able to just hang around. Yacobellis makes this play happen by attacking that with speed and going to the net. Summer Hayes makes a big save there, but he's able to control the rebound. And Wallen is hanging around in that high rent district I keep talking about. He's able to bury that puck and put it home.